three, two, one. It has been really fun to be a part of all of that and to be a part of the team that helped all that happen. And lift off of Artemis One. And the role of senior climate scientists is relatively new to NASA. Talk about why that role was created. When you look across NASA, we have climate throughout the agency. We have climate activities in multiple missions, in multiple centers, and this role is really about connecting all of that. One of our most important missions is our home planet. So we are a U.S. space agency that does end-to-end -end research from observations, models, technology. On the observation side, there are more than two dozen satellites and instruments in orbit that observe the Earth so they can show vegetation, carbon dioxide, clouds, precipitation, and so much more. On the technology side, NASA is developing technologies that can help mitigate or adapt to climate change. One example being their aeronautics team that has been working with the aviation industry for decades to reduce energy use and emissions in aircrafts. We've been working on an all-electric airplane and there will be a test of that later this year. And as always, the public will be privy to the mission. One of the things that NASA does with all of our satellites, all of our missions, we make all of the data publicly available. And what we're working on now is making it more accessible, so easier to use. And so we're taking steps um, to you know, put out tools and resources, not just the, the final end product data. We're also working to you know, translate some of our trainings into Spanish language to make it easier for people to use. And what excites you the most about forward thinking? 2022 was a great year for science, and we have even more coming. So on the Earth science side, we're launching a satellite called Tempo that'll let, help us understand air pollution and air quality. And then on the outside of Earth science, we have a sample return from an asteroid coming back this year and an annual eclipse towards the end of the year. So there's a lot of exciting science coming at NASA. You know, I think we hear NASA and we obviously think of space exploration, yeah. but all of the work they're doing for us meteorologists and in the climate sector really is really inspiring. I mean, to be the chief scientist of NASA, you get yeah. to have your hand in like so many different things. I mean, you just geek out when you're talking to her. <laughs> yeah, stuff, I think. like I was, telling, I was telling them during the package, I was like up here during yeah. this conversation and to her, it's just, it's every day. And, That's and just life. On the all electric airplane. I know. Interesting to see how, <laughs> yeah, can't yeah. wait to see how that test no works out. No more chemtrails, put the conspiracy <laughs> theories to rest. <laughs> For sure. That'd be great. Exactly, exactly. <laughs>